increasing tax rate, ask more for the rich, and use this tax to make the poor richer. You think raising tax rate will narrow the wealth gap in this way? <laughs> Don't be too naive, honey. Believe it or not, it won't work. Why? It's a good question. Let's see a broader picture to discover why, why, and why. Ready? Yay! Go! The rich tax weight. Although seemingly all citizens in the same tax system, the rich have their own legal structure to pay taxes. You probably heard many top millionaires with massive wealth paid very low rates of tax. And some business giants such as Amazon surprisingly paid zero taxes for years. This is not exceptional cases. An independent study found that only in 2018, 91 of Fortune 500 companies paid no United States corporate income tax. As wealth gap in the United States have been widened sharply, this news at least did catch people's eyes and cause the public turmoil from time to time and lead to the government to reform. In terms of complexity of tax policies in the United States, the real operations are not that simple as you think. In other words, as we, or regional people, usually do. On the other hand, this top rich do hire excellent professional financial teams who smartly manage their wealth and outlay counter strategies against the tax policies, which help them to earn best profits but pay least tax. For example, Elon Musk, the new top millionaire in the world who says he doesn't care about money, does derive little wealth from his annual income. Instead, much of its wet worth is tied to the stock holdings. As Tesla's stock price has soared in recent years, it is said that it has used a part of the stocks as equity pledge at low interest to borrow $500 million from banks to support his daily life and other investments. In November 2021, Elon Musk sold about 900,000 shares of Tesla's stock, netting over $1.1 billion to pay taxes obligations for stock options. Tax free! For another, it is reported that Amazon posted incomes of more than $10 billion in 2018 but paid zero in federal taxes, even thanks to tax credits and deductions. Amazon actually received a federal tax refund of $129 million. What? If you could break down Amazon's tax as Forbes reports, investment in research and development, investment in property, plant, and equipment, employee stock compensation, its tax structure is eligible for tax credits. Tax free! Furthermore, ex-president Donald Trump, who wants to stir up the public to hate foreign foreigners and globalization, his closely family members who have been in charge of million-dollar businesses reported to pay their own federal income taxes skillfully, not let alone building philanthropic foundations, investing and trading artworks, and setting up trust accounts. There are many other legal ways for the rich to protect their wealth at best. Are these guys and I in the same country? Yep. Are these guys and I in the same tax system? Yep. Are we living a fair enough life? Uncle Sam, government role. According to Pew Research Center, the most Americans say federal government and large corporations should have lots of responsibilities in reducing inequity. True, the role of government is indispensable in the face of a wealth gap. Without this buffer, the evil power of capitalism will grow unimaginably. But the core question is, how? Increasing tax rate in Biden's administration's proposal, there are many seemingly convincing tax policies at the beginning of his term. The top individual federal income tax rate would rise to 97%. 
Taxpayers with income over 1 million would pay a tax of 43.4% of capital gains. The corporate rate would rise from 21% to 28%. American corporations of foreign income general would be subject to a tax of 21%, and many others. But from above examples, it's reasonable to doubt that. Unless changing tax policies a structure that would work for all upper class, middle class, and the bottom wealth allocations. Otherwise, only calling for partial higher tax rates from a lower number to a higher number wouldn't be likely to stop a widening wealth gap. You it can be worse that these superficial changes would exaggerate the ongoing shrink of the middle class. Broadly, if we list all tax rates and the different ministries, when the incomes and wealth in private companies and individuals have started to become rich, conversely, the public sectors and the governments become poor. For the last 40 years, both Democratic and Republic parties have failed to stop the trend. More specifically, they probably failed to be aware of the trend at all until now. The Biden administration for now and in the future? It remains to be seen how the cat and the mouse would play with each other. Another solution for the government is to use its historical hammer, antitrust laws on monopolies. In history, for more than 100 years, sugar, tobacco, oil, meat picking, telecom, and computers. Molecules have broken up or experienced a big hit due to the antitrust laws. Today, it's turn to the internet giants, such as Facebook, Amazon, and Google. The Facebook case. In late 2020, the Federal Trade Commission sued Facebook, claiming that it is reminding a social networking manipula were anti-competitive conduct. The Federal Trade Commission has called for a breakup of Facebook through the device title of WhatsApp and Instagram. But whether the government is able to do so or not is remains a question mark. Not let alone, Facebook has changed its name into Metaverse and also changed its business direction to develop a virtual world. The Amazon, although it's considered to be a manipulator because it has a significant control over its third-party sellers and suppliers, from statistics, Amazon's share of the United States online retail sales is stimulated at only 40 to 50 percent. Don't look down these giants. For one thing, the last tech giants Microsoft didn't break up even if it lost the case about 30 years ago. Instead, Microsoft learned to go in a low profile, at least in its physical reports. For another, lobbying skills from those big corporations have become more mature than ever before, especially when the government is ever financially poor. So it's a real time to test whether this buffer, the government, is powerful and reliable enough to work for the public without corruptions or not. Do you believe the government can work well this time? Mm, I would love to believe, but why the United States government runs in the separation of powers way at the beginning if it were trustworthy?